Okay, let's see. Let's uh, let's go again. Um, okay. Uh, while we're waiting, let's watch maybe a type player or two. Type player. Quite a lot of rain last night in the UK. Um, Ah, oh, we got a game. All right. Okay. Um, let's play knight c3 and g3 just to avoid any horrible surprises. Uh, what's it going to be? E5 here. Uh, sort of like a French defence. Okay. I suppose bishop d3 is out of the question. What is that? Takes bishop e4. It has a little bit like French defence. Go for a hack attack. Why not? A knight move this bishop g4 anyway. Uh, if f6, maybe f4. Well, anyway, his, his king's going to be a bit in trouble if he does castle here routinely. Uh, but maintaining this pawn wedge, it's easier because there's no c5 in theory. But what is his perk? He's got this bishop out. So I have to make sure. Ah. That's okay. Bishop b5 is an alternative. I could just take the h6. I'm taking an h6, I don't know if that's wise. Um, queen h5 there, e6, bishop g5. Okay, okay. It's It seems to be a, a useful space gain, all this. If I play queen h5. So e6. I don't know, knight h3 or something. Knight h3 to f4. Looks like a nice square for the knight. f 7 is eyes anyway, he's not going to castle queenside that easily. Where is he now? Okay, bishop g5 just to annoy him. Casting queenside. <coughs> If I just play f4 here, uh, is that? I want to play g4 maybe later. I'll just see what he's doing on this side. Okay. So the knight holds g5, so queen f7 might actually be on the cards if he um, is not careful. Defends f7 first. And got pressure on h6 as well. Now time for g4 and f5. g4, c4, d5. Um, these rooks are not doing anything here at the moment. So, I don't know if I take the knight g5 or on h7. Let's do that. That's quite concrete on something here. How does he defend h7? If I get h7, I get f6, I get a huge pass pawn. And my king's on g file, but the knight on f6 might might be really good here. <clears throat> oh, it's got queen h6. Okay, okay. So he has. I'll take and then play knight f6. And then try and use the h file, I think. Double to protect the H file. Um, play rook g1 for g4. I can undouble his pawn to try and get access to f7. Might play a check on h2 though. Okay, where else can this rook go? It can go to g3. Um, 
try that first. Just like can come to c4. I've got knight g8 if the rook's on g3. If rook h4, king f3. And he's got knight d2 coming up for knight e4. Hmm, knight d2, unless I win the exchange first. Alright, I could play this. Sort of threatening knight g8 now. Like, oh no, I'm getting in trouble because of this. After that, king e2, hold on. Stops knight d2, protects the pawn. Alright, so knight g8, is that any good here? See where the king goes. It's a bit harmless. I want to play rook g7 really and attack something. Knight d7 is an option now. No. If I double rook g5, get this one, the other one to g3, and then rook g8, and rook e8 will be mating. Okay, if I just defend this for a moment. Alright, so. Oh, mind you, I've just given him access to my first rank. Um, I want to get rook g8 in, though, for rook e8, mate. Uh, it's going to be trouble here. Yeah. Check on d1, check on d2. Getting my rook g8 in anyway. Ha! <laughs> I got mated. Whoops! I forgot about that one. Oh man! <laughs> oh there! <laughs> oh man! How embarrassing! I thought it was all over him there, and then uh, something happened. Uh, the rooks were actually quite useful. The knight was quite useful. That's really uh, unfortunate. Uh, actually, in this position, I might just rook h3. Just trying to get a past pawn. Oh dear, oh dear. Past outside h pawn. Oh dear, oh dear. Mm, it's winning in it. Oh. I think I think he got involved then. This one, I think this is winning. Mm, it's winning. Or is it? Hmm. It's better than the game. Oh, I suppose these. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's okay here. Yeah. Alright, comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks so much.